Okay, you guys, so since I'm here, I might as well film another video. So I'm going to share with you guys because I have it conveniently ready. A few of my beauty empties. Quick rundown, not really full reviews, but just what I thought of them and if I will repurchase or recommend them. Okay, so I have it collected all in a bag right here. Also, because I'm going to recycle them. So I might as well, you know what, why don't I just share it with you guys. Okay, first I have my Aesop. This is the A Rose by Any Other Name Body Cleanser. This retails for 59 Canadian for 200 ml or 500 ml. Um, will I repurchase this? Yes, I already have a backup. Once you try this body cleanser or even their hand soaps, it's very hard to go back to generic or, or anything else, honestly, um, even Bath & Body. It's just made with essential oils. It's made so well. It leaves you feeling very clean without drying the skin. So definitely recommend this. Full on so bright. I feel like I need my glasses. Okay, next product I want to share with you guys is Dior Prestige Advanced Serum La Micro Will de Rose. This is my my favorite Holy Grail um, luxury premium most expensive skincare product that I use, I think. Um, but I use it daily. My skin looks absolutely different when I use it. It's a bit on the pricier end, but it is the most effective I've ever seen my skin look healthy, very healthy and glowy. Like it's not about wrinkles and fine lines. It just is vitamins and minerals for your skin and my skin, you can see it immediately when you apply. And when you use it the next day, you'll see what I mean. This is the La Mer, the Hydrating Infused Emulsion. And to you guys, I purchased this when it first launched last summer, 2021. Uh, finished it to the last drop. That says a lot because there's only a few moisturizers that I finish to the very last drop. I like this because it's very lightweight. It's maybe it's not a best way to describe it, but it's like a watered down version of the original La Mer cream. I have combination skin and sometimes the La Mer cream original is, is absolutely gorgeous, but sometimes it's just too weighty and heavy. And so especially for summertime, Definitely, I would recommend this if you have oily skin. I would recommend this over the original La Mer cream. Also, if you just want to try La Mer, you've never tried it before, like I said in my video. I will put the video of this down below, you guys, or somewhere here. Um, it's a good introductory product to introduce yourself to the aesthetic and quality of La Mer. And... The video, I, I know I've, I've fully reviewed this. I will also put it in the link down below. Powders. I have two powders I emptied, which is really good because um, I've just realized how much makeup I have and how all my money is in my makeup. So this is the Hourglass, one of their ambient powders in diffused light. Literally, you guys. And even now, I'm still trying to scrape it because I have it in another of my Hourglass palettes. Let me just show you. But even that one... This is one of the ambient edit palettes. My diffuse light and that one, I've also hit pen. It's just such a beautiful finishing powder. And I love it, especially for brightening my under eye after I clean, uh, use concealer and highlighting my brow bone without using a highlighter. So that is empty. Uh, I highly recommend it. And I will repurchase this again. Definitely. Um, this, I already have a backup. And the La Mer, I'm not so sure if I'm going to repurchase it. Only because of necessity. I don't need another moisturizer right now. I did thoroughly enjoy this. But I currently have a Japanese moisturizer, like an emulsion similar to this that from Hada Labo that I want to try out as well. But I really, really like this one as well. This is a Dior Skin Mineral Nude Matte. It was short-lived. They discontinued it. I don't know why. And I even broke my thing, but look, I've had pan. Um, the shade that I have is in number two. It only comes in one, two, and three. This is a mineral setting powder. This is not going to give you coverage. 
but I have to say the finish it gives your skin is the most beautiful, beautiful finish. It's very similar to how the Garlon Meteorites makes your skin look. It just looks polished and refined without the heaviness or a cakiness look that other powders give. It, it almost just looks like skin, but the one I like about this the most is that it's a mineral formula. So even mineral blushes like the Chanel blushes, I love them because it's just the finish. It looks so natural on the skin. Unfortunately, I cannot, I don't have the option to repurchase because it's discontinued this sucks and then last but not the least that i have in my bag this is surprisingly not designer or luxury but it is a drugstore product and i i love it and i think they discontinued it i don't know it's from wet and wild and it's their cushion foundation with spf 15 i don't know what it is with this one but i never liked any of my designer cushions I love this one and the shade that I have is in buff beige 119 medium warm um, I, I can't explain what it is with this one I it's just it gives me just the right coverage without making my skin look heavy it looks like skin it almost feels like it's medium coverage like it gives me perfect coverage where it's not heavy or it's not too thick it still feels like a cushion but the evenness of my skin tone is gorgeous beautiful for daily wear and if i want you know natural looking skin but i need to conceal i want a more polished look then i just use a better concealer in certain areas but for daily this is gorgeous and also this one doesn't oxidize or get weird or change on my skin after a few hours of wear whereas certain cushions they do even designer premium ones so that is about it, you guys. That's just my really short, quick video on that. This is definitely something I would recommend and repurchase in a heartbeat if I can find it again. Um, this, I think, is like $9.99 US and, and Canadian a bit more. I think like $12.99 or somewhere around that range. But that is about it, you guys. I hope you find this quick, quick, quick video vlog interesting and informative. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe wherever you are. And I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening.